Yeah. Let's let's talk women now. You, you, with women, it's you make a lot of news as well because of that, and you <laughs> seem to have a type. Yeah. Light skin, very curvy. How do you know that? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's you and your, your news. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's start with Juliette Ibrahim. What happened with her? What, why did that breakup happen? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, concerning Juliet, Juliet is a friend and a colleague. and um, Is, but you guys are talking about was now. What you know, happened I, with I the breakup? I believe that before? everyone has, you know, personal space that should be respected and I can talk about myself but involving her personal life right now I think it would be disrespectful to her as a person you know because I might want to just come and say okay this and that happened but what if she's yeah, you not can tell your own side of the story we can always get her to tell her side of the story my own side of the story is it was good while it lasted and um, I wish her the best in life yeah. was she married when you guys were dating that's her personal life <laughs> I mean, you, you dated her, you would know if she was married or not. No, she wasn't. She, her, her marriage just ended at the time. Oh, because you're, you know, you're, 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 you're like that, that, that treadmill right now. <laughs> I'm only asking what people want to know, because people are very interested. Yeah, I, I know they want to know, yeah. and um, truth of the matter is, as much information as I would want to disseminate, I still have to respect her personal space, you know, and I wouldn't want to say anything that would probably affect her own brand, so I'll probably just stay out of that. Topic. How long was that relationship for, though? Some time. Was it over a year, two years? Some time. Some time is no time. <laughs> what is wrong with some you? Some time. <laughs> well, just some time. Maybe okay, did, yeah, at least it lasted for a bit. Yeah, for a bit. What made you, okay, you don't want to tell me why, why you broke up? You're not going to go into no, that? No, I was just leaving. Are you guys still in touch? Are you still in touch with her? She's a colleague and she's a friend and she's someone I do respect, actually. You know, there's this thing that everyone that was part of your story is never absent of your story because, I mean, whatever happens in your life, whether good or bad, helps in molding you yeah. to who you are today. You learn from your mistakes and, you know, you take positives and negatives from whatever it is and help build who you are. Yeah. You know, so I respect her, no doubt. And, yeah, that's it. Great stuff. Let's talk the Sonia Morales. I think Sonia that's Morales, her name. Let's yeah. talk about Sonia. Is she in Nigeria? Is she still in Lagos? Um, she's actually doing her master's in Serbia, Belgrade. Okay. And, but um, she was here for a while. Yeah, she, what was she, she doing in Lagos? I thought it was very interesting because she was not, she's not Nigerian. Yeah, she's not She's Nigerian. from Colombia, yeah, she's I from think. Colombia. And she lived here for a couple of months. Uh, two, three months. Yeah, two, you three made months. her move here? No, Sorry, she, she, that's his girlfriend for those <laughs> who are not following this conversation now. <laughs> it was more of um, courtship, getting real. You know, you try to know someone because, I mean, it's one thing talking with someone on the phone and chatting every now and then, but at the same time, you need to um, share personal time with this person to know if you're heading towards a direction or not, you know, so I think it's very important. And um, she's more of a student, and she does more of translation. She speaks about 12 languages thereabouts, so she does translating, you know, for people. So um, her work is not that demanding. Well, my work is, I mean, I'm on set with other every day of my life, you know, so I had to fly her down here and then we get to know ourselves better. Yeah, because I think I saw an interview where you said um, you met on social media, on Instagram to be particular. Oh, yeah. I've always wondered I how... I got that out of my uh, mouth. Af after, <laughs> after that, how, I mean, how did all of this happen? She's not Nigerian. Where did the trust come from to, for you to actually want to make this permanent? You know, there's people that you meet and instantly it seems like you've known this person your whole life. You know, you're chatting with someone and it's like um, the person completes your every sentence, you know. So Aww. it was that, that easy for us. And you know, I found, we found ourselves chatting for like a week straight, you know, apart from when I'm working, you know. So it was real like that. And, you know, trust wasn't really a factor, you know. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm in the limelight. You can Google my name and then you say a lot of things. So I'm coming to Nigeria if I'm kidnapped, hold IK Obuna, you know, that kind of thing. So... I so how's this relationship going to work now, a long-distance relationship? How's that working? For me, I kind of like it. It helps me, you know, focus on my work. You know, I'm, I'm on set virtually every day, and sometimes I need to really focus. So it helps me. And at the same time, she comes once in a while. We, we, we see, we keep it real. And then, yeah. you know, when she's not around, I'm focusing on work. When she's around, I'm still focusing on work. Okay. You know, so it's just what it is, and we work with every day and see where it leads to you. Yeah. All right, let's just talk uh, more work now. Finally, 2015, yeah. what do we expect from you this year? It's been a blessed year so far. I mean, um, already I've done four movies 
this January. It's it's that crazy, you know. And they are all big projects, you know. Okay. Um, probably tra I'm traveling on um, Tuesday. I'm um, working with Elvis Chooks in South Africa, okay. and um, California. And from there, I'm working with Ivano Koro, Ghana. You know, there's there's there's, there's work. A lot of moving. Yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. So I mean, I can only thank God for all that. And then, um, yeah, shout out to my fans that are keeping it real for me and hope they all vote for me. And yeah. the NBC uh, speaking so. of voting, do you think you're going to win that? I mean, you're up against some of your friends, Gideon, OC. You know, is that crazy? OC, yeah. OC is like twice. When I see OC, I'm like, hey, congrats, is like, congrats. Like, well, Gideon, congrats is like, congrats. Hollywood Joe, you know, yeah, and um, Anjate. Yeah. And so, I mean, they're all wonderful actors and everyone deserves to win, you know, but yeah. I wouldn't mind keeping the award for them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice one, congratulations and good luck with everything. Thank you and very I'm, much. I'm looking forward to being at the awards and seeing all of you win. Yeah, Thank hopefully. You very much. Thanks for being here today. Yeah. Well, like I always say, you can join the conversation on Twitter at Wynager TV, is the handle, the, the hashtag is Robin Minds. You can also visit the website wynager.com forward slash TV. Remember, you've never seen your people talk like this before. <laughs> I'll see you next week.